this election, will not be able to understand what is the answer to that question and thus this election. It is not about tribal formation. It is not about those who are disenfranchised and those who have. It is not even about digital and analog anymore. It is not about changing monkeys in a forest. It is much deeper than that. On your caps today, you have a symbol called Itweka and some of them. It is about Itweka. It is not just Itweka in the Bantu sense of changing one generation to another, but actually about changing an order. An order. When Kenya got independence, we replaced a Mzungu governor with a black governor. A Mzungu system with a similar system under a black governor. A system that exploited the majority, 99%. And if you made noise, you had a police and administrative system that put you in your correct place. The Mzungu took away our hard-earned sweat to benefit his nation. Our black colonialist has done the same. Our black governor has done the same. That is what we need to uproot. We are uprooting a system that has created black governors, an elite system of leadership, where today we are being told it's either this way or that way, not our way. We are told it is our way or the highway, not our way as 99% of Kenyans. We believed that multipartism was going to uproot the black government. It didn't. We believed the new constitution was going to uproot the black government. It didn't. It entrenched it. And today, the black governor takes debts on your behalf and you have no say. He has mortgaged your children and your children's children for generations to come and you have had no say. The black governor has made sure that this constitution and the rule of law are a by the way, not the only way. A by the way, not the only way. That the rule of law is subjective in its application. Some of it we'll accept, some of it we will not accept. That is the black governor. The black governor decides when the police will raid you, when they shall kill you. There's no difference to the white governor that was there. And today, our dignity, our pride, our future is not what we envisaged. Our children that we sweat so hard to go to school do everything we can to make sure they have an education because we are told that education is a promised life, is a guarantee to a better life that we have lived is returned to us with 82% failure rates. And we pride ourselves with the same policemen guarding 
exam papers telling us all that we are a nation of failures. We are being disenfranchised every single day.